What's going on my fellow miners? Welcome back. Today we are going to test the latest update for NB Miner that's supposed to fix a few issues, most notably the Octopus Miner issue, but since we don't focus most, you know, specifically on the Octopus Mining algorithm, uh, although I should do a video on that, but we're going to be focusing on the update that happened with the uh, Ethereum Miner and um, one of the issues that it's supposed to have resolved was the yacht, excuse me, was supposed to resolve the issue where it's basically heating up the cards that are mining on Ethereum that have LHR. So we're going to take a look at that. Make sure you guys are hitting the thumbs up, subscribe if you guys are new, and leave me a comment down below. Are you using NB Miner to mine? on ethereum or are you using other miners we are going to test some of the other miners i know t-rex miner had an update um and, and i think lol miner as well so we're going to test those later but right now i wanted to test the nb miner just because i have it active i mean i have the t-rex miner as well but i, I just got to set it up is all anyways we're going to go ahead and let it mine for a bit it's not going to be a, a long video we're going to let it mine and i will be right back all right, so I've had it mining, and I mean, the temps seem to be all right. They're not... The, my issue with the temps is they jump up quite a bit, uh, or they jump around quite a bit. On most cases, the temps stay steady. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what it's trying to fight or or what is going on. I'll show you guys in just a moment here. Um, but it's it's mining. It's accepting jobs. It's running on... 68 percent because when i tried to do 69 percent nice it, it just it wouldn't do it the hash rate would just drop to like 15 mega hash on the 3060 so we're gonna take a look here on uh on on what what the uh the temps are showing so i can show you guys right here so over here we have our temps so this is on the 3060 version 2 lhr you can see right there it's jumping from 51 to then automatically 55. It's not holding a steady temp like it normally would or like other cards would. I It is staying cooler, but the fact that it's just jumping that much is really insane and I'm not sure if I'm okay with that. See, this is my 2070. It stays constant at 54C. No issues. My 1080, staying at 46C, no issues. But the 3060 is just going haywire, and yeah, that's not, that's not good. So, what does that, where does that leave me? And you can see right here, and I know you guys are going to be like, oh, well, lock the, uh, lock the GPU core clock, because that's, that's what's going on, is the core clock is jumping like crazy, and because this is jumping up like crazy, it's making the, uh, the temps go up like crazy. Uh, or we'll just jump around so I know that that's what's going on, but I shouldn't have to do that You get what I'm saying? Is so it like that you guys are who are who are saying oh lock the core clock that'll that'll fix that issue. I know it will I know but we shouldn't have to do that and That's that's the issue that I'm seeing here and Again, like we go to the 2070 right the 2070 stays locked in and I don't have to do anything as far as locking it in or nothing. I don't, I don't have to touch it. But the 3060, it, it jumps around. So, you know, again, I know that the the whole thing with locking the core clock in will solve that issue. I understand. But, I sh again, I shouldn't have to do that, number one. And number two, it's not even worth mining Ethereum because you're talking about a, a 3060 LHR that's mining pretty much just the same as a 1080. So that's not even worth it. You could you could just buy a 1080 and mine Ethereum if you wanted to for cheaper because a 1080, you can get, grab a 1080 for around 400 bucks where the 3060 is still pushing 750, $800. So it's not even worth it on the 3060 if you're gonna buy a 3060 to mine Ethereum. That's That's what it comes down to. So that's that's our results here. Like I said, I mean, it, it's, it does get cooler, but it doesn't stay cooler unless you're going to lock the clocks. So that's, that's where you go. 
And there you guys have it. It's really not worth mining Ethereum on a 3060 LHR version 2. I mean, if you guys, you know, you guys want to do it, that's fine. That's that's up to you. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm just telling you what I think. And um, this isn't this isn't it, man. This is not it. I, I feel like you're better off mining Ergo, Ravencoin, Conflux, and Ravencoin Lite even at this point, to be honest with you. I mean, if, if you want to just hold Ravencoin Lite and then sell it once it or if it does get uh, put up on a on a bigger exchange. If you guys are really like wanting to hold er or, or Ethereum then okay fine i get it maybe but still i i just i just don't see it i don't see it it's not worth it in my opinion um as i mentioned you're better off getting a 1080 and just mining on the 1080 i mean you're talking about 400 versus almost 800 you're paying double to mine the same amount that's that's what i'm getting at right you, now yeah the 3060 can mine other things more efficiently than the 1080 does but still like i said i mean if you're mining ethereum then it's not worth it uh, the temps do look better kind of but i shouldn't have to lock those core clocks in i shouldn't have to do it so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below i appreciate you guys watching and i'd love to hear your input so hit the thumbs up subscribe if you guys are new and I'll see you guys next time. Everybody, happy mining.